G'day folks, welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanna play you a clip by Miles Munro, where Miles Munro says that the reason why people in your workplace are not Christians is because you've been preaching Jesus Christ to them. And you need to stop preaching Jesus Christ to them. And you need to stop preaching about the cross of Christ. You need to stop preaching about the blood of Christ. He, he emphasizes over and over again that you need to stop preaching about the blood of Christ because People don't want to hear about the blood of Christ. You need to stop preaching about the, the nails and the spear that was thrust into his side. You need to stop preaching about all of that stuff. And instead, you need to preach to them about how they can find solutions to their problems. You need to preach to them that they can dominate their circumstances and dominate their finances. You need to preach what he calls the kingdom of God to them. And he specifically says that the gospel is not Jesus Christ. I'm going to play you this clip. Then afterwards, I want to correct what he says with the word of God. Here's the clip from the heretic, Miles Monroe. Do you know why the people on your job really ain't Christians right now? Because you are preaching to them Jesus Christ. Boy, it's tough to teach this. I feel like a man in the desert by myself. See, that's not what you're supposed to preach. You preach the kingdom of God to the folks on the job. Tell them that you can get your citizenship back. There is a kingdom that belonged to you before you was even born. You were born to be a part of a government rulership that have dominion of the earth. Your condition is not supposed to control you. You're supposed to control them. Your circumstances are supposed to run your life. You're supposed to run your circumstances. You're supposed to be dominating your finances and your emotions and your problems. You're supposed to be on top of this thing. Folks want to hear that. People ain't worrying about no blood or no cross. They worrying about how they're going to make it through the day. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. This takes the pressure off you, you know. Because you don't want to be talking about blood in the boardroom. You won't be talking about blood on the school ground. You'll be talking about blood and nails and, and the spear in the side. Because that's not what you're supposed to be talking about. You got to talk about how to solve people's problems. That's good news. Say, hey, you know, this thing you're going through, yeah, man, there's a higher level of living you can live that can whip this thing. There's a higher attitude you could have. There's a higher vision you could have for your life that can overcome these problems. And man, this thing is for you free. And the person would say, well, how do I get there? Then you tell them about born again. The good news is not Jesus. Is that tough for you, for you to hear? The good news is the kingdom. He said it himself. Matter of fact, <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. Try to, I can tell you a million scriptures. I don't know what to do, Lord. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom. Am I right? Yes. Say that with me. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom. Say it again. Jesus, Jesus preached. The gospel of he did not preach himself. <laughs> this is tough on religious people. He preached what the gospel of, and then he said, this gospel of the kingdom will be preached on. He didn't say preach me. He said preach this gospel of the kingdom. What is gospel? The good news is the kingdom, not Jesus. Now, if you're a fan of Miles Monroe, you have to admit at this point that Miles Monroe is a heretic. He's a complete and utter heretic. He's telling people to stop preaching about Jesus Christ. Stop preaching about Jesus Christ the Messiah. Stop preaching about Jesus, the King of the Kingdom. Stop preaching about all of that and instead you need to entice them with the ability to dominate their circumstances. You need to entice them with the ability to dominate their finances. And once you've enticed them with the things of this world, then you can introduce them to Jesus. That, my friend, is heresy. And it's the opposite of what Jesus taught. Remember in the Gospel of John, John chapter 6, 
Jesus, when he fed the 5,000 and then crossed over the lake and the crowds followed him, he turned to the crowds and he said, you follow me not because of the signs that you saw, the signs about who he was. You followed me not because of that, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Jesus was condemning them for that. And here, Miles Monroe is telling you that that's what you need to do. You need to dangle the carrot in front of them and entice them into the kingdom of God. But Jesus said the opposite. Jesus said, unless you forsake everything you have and pick up your cross and follow me, you are not worthy of me. That is what Jesus said. And Jesus spoke about his death and resurrection many times to his disciples. He spoke it at least three times before he said that phrase that uh, Miles Monroe quoted in Matthew chapter 24, where it says, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the earth and then the end shall come. Three times before that, Jesus told his disciples about his coming death, burial and resurrection. So it's very clear that the gospel of the kingdom, and remember, the kingdom here is referring to the long-awaited messianic kingdom, the long-awaited rule and reign of the Messiah. That is the gospel of the kingdom. And so when Jesus came, he's saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. He's saying, repent for the rule of the Messiah is near. Remember, Christ is the Greek word for Messiah. It means anointed one. And it's really referring to the anointed king of Israel. And remember, Miles Monroe said specifically that you should stop preaching Jesus Christ. Stop preaching Jesus the Messiah. Do you know why the people on your job really ain't Christians right now? Because you are preaching to them Jesus Christ. But you can't preach about the dominion of the king without preaching about the king. And the king is the Messiah, the anointed one. And Christ is the Greek word for Messiah. So clearly you can't preach the gospel of the kingdom or the gospel of the dominion of the king without preaching about the king himself. But what about that part where Miles Monroe says that the gospel is not Jesus? The good news is the kingdom, not Jesus. But Miles Monroe is completely wrong on this point. The good news of the kingdom, the gospel of the kingdom, is Jesus Christ. The, the gospel of the kingdom is that the rule and reign of the Messiah is upon them, that the Messiah has come, that Jesus has come. That is the gospel of the kingdom, that the Messiah is coming to reign and to rule. That is the good news of the kingdom. And the good news of the kingdom includes the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Have a look in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1. It says this, Now, brothers, I declare to you the gospel which I preached to you, which you have received, and in which you stand. Through it you are saved. If you keep in memory what I preached to you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received, how Christ, the Messiah, the King, how Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, was buried, rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. You see, the gospel of the kingdom is that the Messiah had come in the person of Jesus Christ to fulfill everything that was spoken about him in the law and the prophets, including his death on our behalf. He died for our sins, was buried and rose again on the third day. That is the gospel of the kingdom, that the Messiah has come to fulfill everything written about him in the law and the prophets and to rule and reign over your life. And eventually at his second coming, he will rule over the entire earth. That is the good news of the kingdom. It has nothing to do with dominating your circumstances or dominating your finances or finding solution to all your problems. that All of that has nothing to do with the gospel of the kingdom. Jesus said, blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of God. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell notification button. I'll see you in the comments section and you'll see me in my next video.